I just got through watching the season finale of Power Book 2, Book of Ghosts. Tariq being the new ghost in this bitch. And I must tell niggas, that season finale was motherfucking fire. Alongside the last two, three, four episodes. It's your boy Dame. Subscribe to Dame's World. And I'm only doing this video because I know it's a lot of people, a lot of my subscribers who was following Power the first time around. And was a little bit skeptical on whether or not they was going to watch this one. I was in that same motherfucking boat, and to be honest with you, judging by the first couple of episodes, I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But I gave it some more spins, I gave it some time, I gave it five, six, seven episodes, and when they came back, they came back with the thunder. The season finale, which I watched last night, uh, Hardened Hearts, or whatever the fuck it's called, something with hearts, you know what it is. That motherfucker was slamming. But this video is basically for those who think or who don't know whether or not they want to watch that shit. Some people are like, yeah, man, I don't know. I can't fuck with Tariq after what he did. Some niggas is thinking like, you know what, that shit too watered down. The main characters of the last one ain't here no more, which I agree with. But I'm going to just give you a couple of reasons why you might like the shit. A couple of reasons why you might not like this shit. And just my own discernment of just my opinion, whether or not I liked it. But we're just going to start off with why you might like it. For one, the analogy. If you like the storyline from the initial power, this power book of two literally piggybacks step from step the analogy only by uh, substituting Tariq. With ghosts, Tariq is, uh, if I just bring it back for y'all who haven't seen one episode, Tariq is going to college now. His mission is co in college is to get his trust fund from his father. James St. Patrick Ghost made one condition. You got to graduate, nigga, with a 3.5 GPA. Now, on that mission to graduating, he got a side mission, Tasha in jail. Y'all seen from the last episode of the first Power, right? So, he got to scrape up, hustle up some money to make ends meet, to pay for a lawyer, to get her out of jail. So, now, Tariq, by necessity, ironically, the nigga was so privileged selling drugs while rich. Now, he got to do that shit by necessity. And, and in doing so... He's become ghost, selling dope, one illegitimate life, going to school, another legit, or the legitimate life, analogous to the club from James St. Patrick. That's one similarity. The other similarity is Braden, his friend. He got a white college friend who was on Power One. They've thrust him into the spotlight and into the secondary role, white boy with the shits, telling niggas, hey, I love this drug shit. That's Tommy Egan. Clear cut. And then you have Tariq juggling two girls. You got uh the daughter from the uh the daughter from the family, the mafia family, Monet and them family, to Tahadas, the Tahadas, let me get it correct. And then you have his school sweetheart, which is the same story as Tasha and Angela Valdez. So if you like that storyline. Then you might like this storyline essentially because it's the same shit. But in the same breath, as a creator, you might not like the same exact storyline. It's kind of obvious. You're telegraphing. We know he going to be Tommy. We know you finna make him choose up. You know what I'm saying? It's too much like Ghost in my opinion. But you might like it for that. Another reason you might like this shit. Some of the acting is decent. I think Tariq does an excellent job as taking this star role. He's been acting for about 5 to 10 years, probably longer than that, 15 years his whole life. I think this series, he's doing a hell of a good job, and he's even reversing the curse. I hated this nigga last season. Hated him. He killed everybody. Ghost, set up Tommy, set up Cannon, set up motherfucking Raina. 
Set up everybody. Got his mama in jail. I hated the nigga. But somewhere in this one, it makes me want to root for him. I don't know. The author just has that ability to make you root for a nigga who was a villain. Because you got other characters like Kane. <laughs> Kane is a good actor in my opinion. And he plays one of the villains that Tariq is going against. So if you like individual roles and in acting, Tariq... I like Braden for what he got. I like Kane. I like Drew. I like the uh, young Tahada, the daughter. I like, oh, everybody hates Chris. It's a it's a few decent actors in there that would make you want to watch the show. I know for me, acting is a big issue when it comes to watching these shows. So if you like certain certain characters, certain actors, that's another reason you might like it. Now... Why you might not like it. For sex scenes. This is an issue with me. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all like that type of shit. But I feel like the author <clears throat> intentionally puts sex scenes because there's a demand for it. And by doing so, sometimes it might be forceful. For example, without spilling the beans, one of the characters, there's two professors uh, got a little thing going on, and one of them low key kind of forces the other one into sex. If you watch it, you'll understand. If you watched it, you already understand what I'm saying. And then you'll have the scenes with Drew and Zeke's. Oh, I didn't mention Zeke. Zeke being a basketball hooper from the Tejada family, another key role. But they have a a, a scene where. He links up in class with one of Zeke's basketball players, and then they just looking and gawking. And I'm looking like, this shit is fake. <laughs> Attraction just don't happen. I mean, you're attracted, but just to be sex playing each other all through class, I thought that shit was too much. Then you even have the age of the sex that you're seeing on this shit. Tariq looks 16. I know y'all gonna say, he is 18, he is. I get it. But Tariq and them girls he run around with, they look young as shit. Brayden and them girls he run around with, they look young as shit. A lot of the characters on here look like teenagers. And that's what some of you coming from the old power might not like about it. Why? Because nigga, them was grown ass men in the field. Cannon just came back from 15 years. Ghost was about 30 something with a family. Known for hustling. And Tommy was in them streets for years too. These are some little ass kids. So I think the age difference for me. Was something that I had to overcome. Likely because. The shit that I did see. When it came to what I do like. Was more enticing in the second season. The second go round of the first season. What else you might not like. The acting. In comparison. I know you guys are thinking, oh, damn, you just said you might like the acting. Selective acting. In this power, in comparison to the last power, they have a clearly noticeable, less skilled cast. Uh, Amari Hartwick is a profound actor, in my opinion, great at his job. Uh, Joseph Sicori, great at his job. Cannon, 50 played Cannon, great. Lobos, you got Milan, you got people who have been acting for a long time in that first power to where that's why it manifested into the classic that it manifested. This one, however, has new actors stepping to the forefront. You got Method Man playing a lawyer, in which I don't think he does a terrible job, but I think you can still notice that he's acting. Which is a big problem in acting because you got to look the part, play the part. And sometimes I'm convinced ghost is ghost. When you feel me, Method Man is <laughs> being a lawyer. Can we open the chambers? And it's talking like that. I, you don't talk like that, nigga. <laughs> you got to be the character. So Method Man, even though he's doing okay, you can tell. Mary J. Blige. You see the critique when it comes to her acting. I think she's doing better, but she's still not the up to par acting. It's not the up to par acting that we saw before. Even Tasha. Tasha being Tasha is in prison, as you should know. She be running around scared, paranoid, and all shit all day. And I'm like, damn, do niggas really act like that? Zeke Cross, I know y'all seen this. If you've seen this episode, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. He running around scared all day. 
Miss Miss Pilgrim don't know nothing. <laughs> hey Tariq, you need to stay away from my family. Just scared to death, and I'm like, man, niggas don't act like this. But aside from that, when it comes to this last episode, not giving too much detail on what goes on, that shit was fire. I'm only really doing this video because. Some people are still straddling the fences whether or not they should or should not watch it. I think when it comes to comparing it to the last one, it's not fucking with the first power for sure. But if, you know, you go on idle time, you ain't got much to do, you pick up the remote, check it out, see if you like it. I thought the first five episodes, six episodes were okay. Probably like one or two cool ones in there, but then from seven to ten... The motherfuckers was fire. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They start getting into their bag. But hey, that's all I got for today. The, the finale, Power Book 2, Ghosts. Let me know your thoughts, your comments on the show. Let me know if you fuck with it. I, personally, I'm going to watch Season 2 based on how they finished Season 1. So I fuck with it. Even though, on a scale of 1 to 10, this show is about a 7. Just my honest opinion. It's your boy, Dame. Peace.